Retro Mojo! Hey guys, welcome back. I am playing one of my favourite games in the entire world right now. I cannot tell you how many times I have played through this game. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Save down here, just to not mess anything up. Yeah, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I cannot tell you how many times I've played this game. Um, it's always been a go-to game that I always go back to whenever uh, whenever anything's going on. You know, I've always been playing this game since secondary school and um, since the age of like 14, 15. And regardless of what age I've been throughout the, my years, you know, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 28, whatever, 30, I've always managed to find myself coming back to this video game and just, just playing it from start to finish and just remembering everything that is to do with it. Um, yeah, awesome game. It takes me right back to my childhood. So whenever, um, whenever there's a dang moment in my life, I just choose straight straight back to this game. Um, currently, I'm playing it via the um, PlayStation 2, so um, I'm a bit worried that the, the, the quality doesn't look great. So um, I'm probably not going to do this whole um, playthrough in one sitting. I'm going to see if I can tweak the um, the game quality um, a little bit. I'm, so the PS2 is going into the uh, Agapdor HD um, game catcher card. I don't know why I put an accent on there. Um, and then it's going through the laptop and then, uh, no sorry, it's going through the PlayStation 2, through the card and to the TV. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I'm going to be dipping in and out as I go through these bonus stages. Oh, it's so weird, like, I know these bonus stages like the back of my hand, uh, and yet you ask me anything about what I learned in school, um, I probably will tell you a bit more about Sonic Sonic 3 and Knuckles because, because there was a point when I was doing my GMVQ in ICT where we would just play... ROMs uh, all the time, they're a bit naughty, but you know, I own the game, so that taboo, you know, is a bit of a taboo, own the game, got, if, you, if you're if playing the ROM, you got to own the game, right? <laughs> yeah, alright, cool, uh, but in this case I did, um, yeah, so it was like we was in the computer room just playing endless amounts of this game all the time, um, but yeah, like, I can't remember a lot that's happened in my life, but I, I know how to get a perfect in Sonic 3 and Knuckles um, in the bonus stage, so that's awesome. So we've only been playing for a good uh, two minutes and we've already got one Chaos Emerald. Um, I don't know where all of the, um, I don't know where all the bonus stages are, but I know enough that um, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get all the um, all the uh, Chaos Emeralds in, uh, in this sit through. The only problem is normally I play this game on like my PC or something and uh, yeah, and you got the save states, but this time is going to be a bit more pressured because um, I'm playing it on my PS2 console, um, just because of the just trying testing out the the recording um, ability on it. Ooh, or, um, so yeah, so and I know like if you mess up with the bonus stages and when on um, in the games uh, on the console versions, you cannot go back and just kind of like rage quit, restart the game. Because the game remembers where you left off up to like the most recent level. Um, so like if you just rage quit in the middle of a stage, it will um, after you couldn't do a bonus stage, it will save where you last last stage you got to. Um, but it will, but if, but it will also remove that bonus stage for you because uh, it already knows that you've had a chance. You already had a chance at it. So um, yeah, there's a little bit of pressure to make sure I'm able to do all the bonus stages uh, first time round. Yeah, I'm a little right about this uh, capture. It just looks a bit grainy, I must say. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's coming up on my on my screen. I think because maybe the um, that's what's happening on my screen. I've got a quite big uh, TV on the, on the wall, um, but I'm not quite sure if that's being captured on the on the game footage. So hopefully that'll come out better. And we've got our. Second bonus stage, boom, straight in. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I had a little practice run just to make sure because um, it took me forever to figure out that in order to unlock Sonic 3 and Knuckles in this bundle that is in the PS2, um, you need to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles 20 times each. And I thought that meant play for them all 
um, 20 time each, complete it all and everything. Um, so ultimately, back in the day when I bought this compilation, uh, I got a little bit bored of it and fell out of it and I didn't ever unlock it. But then I just realised that you don't actually have to play through the whole game, you can just open up the menu, get to the front screen and that counts as a play. Awesome, no one told me that when I was younger. So um, yeah, managed to get, managed to get this on the, uh, on the PS2. I don't have to collect all the rings, I just feel like it's necessary just in case, just because, um, just to get a couple of continues in case I mess things up. I've been doing a couple of other playthroughs of some other games and uh, I think I've learned that the more continues you have the better. I'm going to leave those ones to the last, um, come back to those later. Hopefully um, I'll not be running around too fast. As you time goes on in these bonus stages you get faster and faster and faster. So. Um, the longer you leave things, am I going around in a circle? Let's go this way. Um, the longer uh, you leave it, the longer you're in the bonus stage, the faster the stage gets. So, um, whoop. Cool. in deep concentration mood. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. <laughs> Done. Cool. Yes. So it doesn't, just while you're looking at the screen now on my uh, laptop, the quality on there doesn't look too bad, but it's just on my, on my, uh, on my screen that it just looks a bit messed up. I think because the um, capture card, because uh, the, the wires that I'm using is obviously not HD, um, but the game card, but the, then the card upgrades it on my screen to be HD-ish. I think, I think that's right. Someone, someone will probably correct me on that. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just getting into the groove in this stuff. So um, I'm sure it'll be fluent in no time, but right now, um, yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Um, cool, so to, we're still uh, seven minutes into the game and we've got two Chaos Emeralds underneath our belt. Awesome. Yeah, I can remember, um, I, I was a bit naughty in school. I say naughty, I was a bit of a, a keen bean. And um, I was in, like, because I was um, quite good at, I, was really, I really enjoyed like the IT back in the day and I was quite in a, um, IT guy, the IT teacher, uh, he was quite fond of me as well. Um, he, I, I kept asking for him, like, oh, I'm going to try and do some bits and bobs at home. Do you mind, and I, um, do you mind saving my, um, because everyone had their own personal home drive. Do you mind saving my home drive on a CD? Um, burning it onto a CD so I can take it home and do some homework at home. The stuff that I was working on for my ICT course. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just copy the whole hard drive, uh, your hard drive, and then you'd be able to take that home. Um, but he didn't know in the background that I was downloading ROMs from the, on using the school internet. Um, so he actually made me this amazing CD full of these like ROMs. Um, yeah, a bit naughty, I know. Um, but it was at one stage um, that CD got passed around quite a fair bit across to. The whole school. I remember one one class I was sat in. The teacher had no control of the situation whatsoever. We, it was like the classroom was like the way it was set out. It's like all all the pieces in a room. All the PCs are facing around like you're just sat around the wall, and in the center is a, a bunch of tables. So um, around the edges are all the PCs and the tables are in the middle. Every single one of those people around that around that room were playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, because they saw me watch it, they saw me play it, and they were like, "Dude, I, I wanna, I wanna play that too." And uh, I think you're able if you um, if you put the CD in, boot up the game, and um, take the CD out, the game still plays. Um, yeah, so I got like there was a good like 30 odd people playing Sonic the Hedgehog. It was a pretty special moment. Ooh, right. It's just I just can't believe just how like 
pick this, pick a game up like this, and everything just comes flooding back. Why is it I can't pick up a pen, and then everything I learned in school whilst holding the pen comes back? No, it doesn't work like that, is it? Uh, I'm just spitballing. Sorry. Here we go. The idea is of this one is that you can do the whole round the outside, round the outside thing. Uh, up until this one, you meant to jump over the last two, do the round the outside thing, then go back and get those last two, uh, and then that's how you get the perfect. Um, I've got two continues. You get a bunch of lives in in this game, so uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that two continues are going to be enough. Um, cool. I'm going to leave this video right here, guys. I'm going to pick it up next time as we go keep going through Angel Island, and we're going to try and find that fourth Chaos Emerald. Cheers, guys. See you then.